SwiftUI gives us two ways of positioning views. One is absolute positioning using the position modifier, and one is relative positioning using the offset modifier. These two might sound similar, but once you've got a better idea of how SwiftUI positions views inside their frames, then the differences between these two become clearer. Now a simple SwiftUI view looks like this here, just text hello world. What'll happen is SwiftUI will offer all the available space on the screen to our content view. There's nothing else here, you can have it all. Content view will pass on that same size, the whole screen, to the text view and say, you can have as much as you need, it's down to you. The text view will say, I only actually need this much space, just enough, this purple box here, to fit the words, hello world. Really, really tight around my space. So it'll pass that, its request, back up to content view, here. Content view will always and only ever be the same size as its body. Its content is text hello world, so it'll directly fit around the text. As a result, SwiftUI will center content view in the middle like that, which in turn, of course, places the text in the center as well. So from the user's perspective, that is just the entire view, that little hello world thing right there. Now, if you want to position a, a SwiftUI view absolutely at an exact point in the screen, you would use the position modifier like this, dot position, x 100, y 100. And now you'll see it's about 100, 100 from the top left corner of the screen. Uh, now, to really see what's happening here, add a background modifier. I'm gonna say, text hello world, background dot red, then position that. Okay, so you can now see the red background tightly fits around the hello world. But as always, modifier order matters. Move background dot red below the position modifier and you'll see that happen. The text is in the same location, but the whole screen is now colored red. The whole thing is red. To understand what's happening here, you've got to try and remember the three layout steps that SwiftUI follows for every one of its views. The parent will start by proposing a size to the child. Here's how much space you can have. That's step one. Based on that information, the child then chooses its own size and the parent must respect that choice. That's step two. And finally, the third step, the parent then positions the child in its coordinate space however it wants to. So the parent is responsible for positioning the child, not the child. The child does not do positioning. The parent does positioning. That's really critical. It's step three, the parent, based on the child's size information, the parent does the position. And we've just told our text view here to be an exact position, x 100, y 100. So how can SwiftUI resolve that? How can SwiftUI say where text should be? It can't position itself. And the answer to this is also why our background color modifier here made the whole screen red. Because when we use position like this, we'll get back a new view that takes up all available space. You can see this sort of line around here. It goes right to the very edges of the screen like this, in the safe area at least. And it does that so that it can position its child correctly. So it can position text at 100, 100. That's how it works. So when we're using text and position and then background, the position modifier will take up all the available space so it positions the text correctly. And then the background will use that, the all available space part, for its color. When we use text, then background, then position, the other way around, the background will use the text size for its background, for its, its coloring like this. And then the position will take up all the available space and put the background in its correct location. It's now going at 100, 100. Now, when discussing the offset modifier previously, I said, if you offset some text from its original dimensions, original location, the original values don't change. They haven't changed. Even though the resulting views rendered somewhere else, the original dimensions haven't changed. With that in mind, let's say, uh, let's put position back where it was, like this. 
I'm going to change position to be offset. Like that. And now you can see the text appears in one place down uh, here and the background in a different place. I'm going to explain what it is shortly. But first, I want you to think about it yourself first. Because if you understand that, then I could think you really understand how SwiftUI's layout system works. So if you want to pause the video, now's a great place to do so. Have a little think why this disconnect actually exists. Still here? Okay. <laughs> when we use the offset modifier like this, we're changing the location where a view should be rendered without changing its underlying dimensions, its underlying geometry. X, Y, width, and height aren't actually changing. We're just saying render it somewhere else position haven't changed. This means when we attach background to another as a modifier below, um, we're using the original position of the text. This offset does not affect the background here at all. So the text um, will be used for the background. So we're saying move it to where the text is rendered, but then apply the background where the text was originally. Now, if you modify the order here, if I put background like that, before the offset, boom, you will now see the background and the text have moved down the way, probably more like how you expected. Once again, showing that modifier order really matters.